Not the result we wanted in London here, losing the, um, the quarter-final to England, but we bounced back to, to certainly beat Canada and then South Africa to, uh, to win the plate. You know, finishing third in the World Series year, uh, I'd have to say, and, and what's been a real challenging year. Injuries have hit us certainly a, long, a lot of the time, and but I've had some new younger players that have come on board and uh, are certainly going to grow as sevens players. So um, to finish third in the in the World in the World Series, disappointing, yeah, not to win it, but um, we'd be certainly happy with the way we finished, certainly under trying circumstances. The series this year, as we've all identified, has been really, really tough. There's been a lot of teams that have certainly put their hand up and really competed at times. And, and I suppose one of those is the, the final tournament here in Twickenham, where the US have gone on to beat Australia in the, in the final. You know, US, of course, comprehensively beating England. And, and of course, uh, on the other side of that, Australia comprehensively beating our, our World Series champion for this year in, in Fiji. Uh, our learnings from that in terms of an All Black Sevens team, yep, it's just we need more depth, we need to create more depth. And, uh, and again, going into an Olympic year, I think what's been uh, identified here is that there's going to be no easy games. So uh, the conditioning of the athletes is so, so important to do well in tournaments. And, and of course, um, uh, some of those injuries perhaps in some ways due to the lack of conditioning could have been perhaps prevented. So we've got to look at that, uh, look at a lot of areas to improve our game and uh, to get up and uh, to get back to that number one spot, which I'm sure we can. But with the Olympics coming on, obviously in Rio in 2016, some new players coming on board in terms of super rugby players and All Blacks, I see the conditioning areas have a huge importance. And uh, for us moving forward, it's going to be a massive, massive challenge. And uh, But again, for a challenging year, obviously very, very happy with uh, the progress of some of the players, some of the new younger players that have come on board for the very first time. And, and also uh, some of the established players and someone like Scott Curry, I thought had an outstanding year this year and uh, certainly played very, very well. And Shu and Stowers also uh, had some big tournaments. And, uh, you know, without going through them, they all had their, their moments at different times. DJ, of course, led them, as he always does, from the front. Again, his, his year being disrupted sometimes through injury. Tim and Mickelson, Joe Weber also uh, cut short of a few tournaments due to injury. But, you know, we'll box on from here. I'm sure we'll come back stronger next year. And, uh, but a great learning curve, certainly this year, and how, the, you know, how competitive the game really is.